my favorite things about this Dreamforce conference is that I get to catch up with some of my favorite companies. Companies like Train Technologies, one of the leading global players in the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning space. With the Federal Reserve about to start cutting interest rates, I think it's kind of exactly a kind of modernized industrial company. It's worth owning here. By the way, big data center exposure. Don't take it from me. Let's dig deeper with Dave Regner. He is the chairman and CEO of Train Technologies. Once again, all-time high. Mr. Regner, welcome back to Mid Money. Thanks, Jim. Glad to be back on your show. All right, so Dave, I think people have to understand that when we talk about buildings, we love buildings, of course, but they turn out to be a major source of pollution, and you are trying your best to stop that. Yeah, about 40% of all the energy that goes to a building is for heating and cooling. And we know, because we've done hundreds of thousands of energy audits within buildings, most buildings operate inefficiently, up to 30%, even sometimes higher. And what you're going to hear, and you'll hear a lot about it at the conferences, is you'll hear a lot about from, if I was a utility, I'd be talking about supply, and I need to get more power on the grid. Here, at data, you're going to hear a lot about data centers. They use too much power, and it's going to double. What nobody's talking about is what we call demand-side management. And that's the fact that 30% of all the energy that's after the meter is being wasted. And that's why I'm here today, because I want to talk about how an industrial company like Train Technologies is utilizing AI. If you're connected to the asset, if you're connected to the building, you could ensure that building is always operating the way it's designed. Look, we've been using structured AI data for over a decade. When you take unstructured data and you augment that data layer, it's, the amount of improvement that you could have is vast. Why did we build buildings that were wasteful to begin with? You know, at the time, I think it was just, a, it's, a, it's a different time in, in history and people, it wasn't top of mind for people. And what happens is even with new buildings, right? Forget about the old, just new buildings. They'll do what we call drift. They'll, they'll degrade performance over time. And within three months, six months, you start to have a building that drifts. And there's a lot of reasons why. Some of it's mechanical, some of it is human interface. But if you're connected to that building, you could ensure that it's always performing the way it was designed. We say, we say an HVAC asset isn't performing not only if it's not heating or cooling properly, it's not performing if it's using too much energy. And that's the power of what we can okay, so do. So that's also part of what Chen Sun Wong talks about is the total cost of ownership. And what I, what I get uh, crazed about is it, Oracle has 162 data centers. They said maybe we need another 1,000, maybe we need another 2,000. Well, what does that do to the planet? Well, if you think about it, and you can, there's different numbers that are out there, but if, if, if data centers use about 4% of all the energy today, and it doubles to 8%, if we could control the 30% that's wasted, Jim, right. that's the bigger opportunity, right? We need data centers. I need that intelligent layer to help us have these buildings operate the way they were designed. And the neat thing about it is, is this is all technology that exists today. We don't have to go out and create a new technology or you know, try to scale carbon capture. This is technology that exists today. And the paybacks for our customers, because some of these buildings are performing so poorly, it's very, very accretive. Many of our paybacks are less than three years. So we tell people it's green for green, right? right. It's green for the, the planet, and it's certainly green for their income statement as well. Well, do you, at this stage, with all the demand you have, does it matter if the Fed cuts rates? Does it matter if we get a little reacceleration I'm in the economy? I'm sure it will. It will be a stimulus well, for sure. But our paybacks are so attractive right yeah. now that it's, um, you know, it, it, with or without that, we're going to continue to be successful. Did you see this happening? I mean, look, when I, I've got to tell you, for years when I heard it was an HVAC company, I yawned. I said, oh, good. Well, it's part of some larger conglomerate. Uh, and then when you first came on, you taught me, you know, look, it's not HVAC the way it's not just some air conditioner duct. It's a very complex system that is trying to be able to make it so the planet is not choked on what buildings produce. But did you see it yourself when you got in this business? You know, we always saw that the, the sustainability aspect of our business had some meaning to us. And our, the purpose of our company is to challenge what's possible and innovate right. for a sustainable world. And that's what all 45,000 of our employees really think about. And, and it, it's, it's really, it's gaining momentum for sure. But I would tell you that, you know, we've had a tremendous sex, success over the last four years. I mean, our, our reported revenue growth on a compound annual growth rate is 12%. Our EPS growth is north of 20%. No, I mean, this is a, you have a much better growth rate than almost all the technology companies that I deal with. They do not offer a product that is at level of demand that you have. Yeah, Jim, I always tell our team that our best days are in front of us. 
Yeah. So we've had great success, but our best days are in front of okay, us. Okay, the last thing I, w I wanted to ask you, um, do people, I mean, you people say, listen, you know what? I mean, I've been waiting for someone to say, I want to go into HVAC. Do they know that that's where their career should be? I need, I need to talk to them. I need to talk <laughs> well, to them. We're always recruiting great people, you so you're do, more than welcome. Well, you do a great job. TTT, another all-time high. And it's because of, you know how to save the planet and also make some money at it. Nothing wrong with that. That's great. Fair enough. That's Dave Regner. He's the CEO of Train Technologies. TT, take a look at this. This thing is like this. Man, money's back after the break. <laughs>